Defensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for them. And they need to recover as soon as possible. The pass to Smith. Indiana moving the ball around. Here's McLeod, guarded by Mason. And the drought, and Ewing sends it back. And they get it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Get left Shreps checked in for the pace. The Knicks leading by 19. On the wing, Ewing. That's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will return possession. Off the inbound. And Davis pulls it down. Pacers trail by 19. Miller outside. Kicks it to Shrimp. The three. The Knicks pull it in. Oakley's got his 16th rebound on the night. Passes it to Ewing. Over Miller. It's Ewing that time in the assist by Rivers. Rivers has got assist number five here tonight. And you know, they aren't showing any signs of easing up. Their offense looks superb right now. They can't get careless with the lead. So far, this hasn't been the case. Here is Mason. Rivers finds Ewing. Here's Mason. Good on the shot. Mason's got nine points now in just the second half. An unselfish big man. Ewing is all for setting his teammates up. Timeout called the Pacers. Smith checked in for Mason. And uh, Indiana shooting just 34% from the floor. It's Shrimp on the wing. Over Oakley. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Struggling to find their flow while the other team is on the roll. Yeah, this drought is really hurting them. They've got to mix things up and try and snap out of it. Now, here is Starks. Oakley is screen on Miller. That left Shrimp comes up with the rebound. Shrimp's got four rebounds now tonight. Miller, no up. I thought that one would go down. A little puzzling, it didn't. That's clearly a frustration foul. You could see that coming by the look on his face. Taking it out with a foul won't change much. He's got to have a more level head than that. Rivers kicks to Starks. Fires the three. Good on the triple. Starks has got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Knicks. Well, I love the decisiveness of Starks, making things happen on offense. Here's Miller. Pass to Fleming. Back to Miller. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Oakley dishes to Rivers. Starts right side. Looking for Ewing. He gets it there. Here's another rebound. Two points. That one goes. Ewing's got six points in the quarter. Well, I love the focus we're seeing from him right now. Really taking advantages of chances to impact the game. And he did in their last game, too. He is on a tear, competing with every ounce of energy he's got. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. Rivers passes to Starks. Double team on Ewing. Now here's Rivers. He's guarded closely. Just five on the clock. Smith for three. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Smith has got eight rebounds in this game. Shrimp against Oakley. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Good job that time by Detlef Shrimp to concentrate through the contact, staying with his shot. The Knicks leading by 23. Rivers passes to Ewing. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. 
Patrick Ewing taking two shots. The first free throw is good. That one is no good. Pacers shooting just 30% from the field here in the fourth. Here's Miller going inside, and the layup's good off the glass. 158 left in the game. Now here's Rivers, guarded closely. Up top, Oakley. He's guarded by Davis. Pocket six. Oakley kicks to Starks. And Davis sends it back. And here we go with Davis heading to the hoop. And it's slammed in by Davis. Well, they had the opportunity to break, and man, did they ever. They took full advantage of it. I don't know how you feel about it, but in the NBA, fast break points decide games. Here's Oakley. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. Well, that's going to wrap this one up. Fans are already starting to flood the exits. This is going to go down as a big game to win for the Knicks. And the work, Clark, they put in on the glass. That was a big factor in this one. Yeah, it was. I mean, they were relentless, and it was tiring to compete against. It actually wore me out just watching it. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Patrick Ewing. And I love the work rate he showed on the glass. He was attacking every miss that came off the iron. And it goes down two points. Oakley's got eight points here in this quarter. Boy, that's an outstanding find by Ewing. It helps that he's as tall as he is because he's able to look over the floor quite cleanly. Pass to Smith. And he drops in the layup off the glass. There's a minute left in the fourth quarter of this one. Rivers passes to Ewing. Starts outside. Ewing trying to get open. And they get it back. Terrific play there. He gets to the long rebound, which keeps the clock running. A solid win in front of the home crowd. They put on quite a show for the fans tonight. The fans got their money's worth with this one. Great win in front of a terrific crowd. They're really making a go of it, but perhaps too little, too late. But you respect them for playing out the string. And the Knicks with possession here. Following the score by Indiana. Back to Starks. Over Miller. And Miller with the block. And it's out of bounds to the Knicks as New York retains possession. Nineteen seconds left to play here on the fourth. Four on the clock. Here's Oakley. Just smothering defense from Smith, using his reach to bottle up the shooter. It's Shrimp on the wing. Over Smith, and that falls. The offense working as intended right there, creating a great look at the basket. So no problem for New York as they get the win. Well, that'll do it for now. And you can join us during this first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For our reporter David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching tonight's game. So long.